We are on our way to Palm Coast, Florida. It's about an hour drive from Orlando, and we're going to do a sump pump repair there. But I just want you to take a look. We're passing a truck with huge pipe, huge perforated pipe with a sock around it. Where is it going? You know, here in Central Florida, we have thousands of farms, and they install drain tile, you know, throughout the entire farm. And it drains the field extremely well. And there is no aggregate added to that system. It, in the sand, it works great. While we're here in Palm Coast, Florida, we're going to go ahead and pick up some paver-based sand because we're replacing a section of driveway that is pavers. And we need new sand to compact down into the area. And I'll show you that clip later on in this video. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we are in Palm Coast, Florida, and we're working on a sump pump. Let me show you what's going on. So from the first job in Orlando this morning, now we are in Palm Coast, Florida. This is about an hour drive. We are right on the Atlantic Ocean, and we've got a sump basin that the homeowner asked us to come out and put a new sump pump in. We're going to use his pump. So we're not using the Zoller, but you can see what they've got. They've got, they've added a downspout. Um, looks like they've got a couple other lines. And of course there's a sump pump discharge line that the pump that they had burned out. So he asked us to come out and he wants us to put his pump in, which is fine. We do this all the time and we're going to go ahead and take care of that. So this is a half horsepower Utilitech pump. And we're going to go ahead and set that up just like we do any regular pump. Um, the only thing I don't really like about these pumps, it's got that uh, little float that swings off to the side, but it's a fine little pump and it works great. You know, everybody thinks that I just say only Zollers, but you know, all pumps work good. I think Zollers last a little bit longer, uh, much more powerful, but take a look. Everything sets up the same way. We've basically set that pump down into the basin and now we're just making some measurements to connect the discharge line you can see we put a new 90 on there and Chuck's making some measurements we'll cut that off and put this all together it only takes a few minutes you know we do this all day long in addition to all the installs so cut your pipe make your measurements don't forget you need that 3 16 inch weep hole that's the pressure relief for that pump so it doesn't burn out and once you've got this done you go ahead and dry fit it. We're going to dry fit it first to make sure everything's good. He's going to push that down into the top of the check bow. And then he's going to connect it to make sure that it fits good and securely to that 90. A little tough to work down in the sump basin, but this is how you do it. It's the best way just to get everything nice and secure. Pull your pump over. You can see it's going to fit really good. Just dry fit it. You can see it lines up really nice. Once you're comfortable of how things are lining up, go ahead and glue all your fittings. We're gluing this final piece here. We're going to push it on. This is a tight fit, a very tight fit, but push it on there tight. Make sure it's lined up and you're really all set. If you need to adjust the bottom of the pump, you can pull it just a little bit over and this pump's ready to go. We'll go ahead and check that float and everything works good. So we're also going to clean this line. You can see there's been a couple of catch basins added here in the yard. Um, he asked us, let's go ahead and clean those lines while we're here. You can see the water is coming into that basin fairly well. I don't see any evidence of it backing up. Um, but let's go ahead and clean the line while we're here. It's always a good idea to maintain these systems. Um, nothing lasts forever. So we'll go ahead and clean that line from those catch basins. I guess he's got another one over here someplace. And there's also a downspout drain uh, right over here in the corner that we will clean from that over to the basin as well. Okay, now we're picking up the paver sand. This is from Stone Plus in Palm Coast, Florida, and we're getting two yards of sand. A real quick note, sand is so much more heavier than gravel or clay. And our little trailer, it works great, but we're putting two yards. We already have one yard in there. And these guys are really good. Um, they do this all day long. And he asked me, are you sure you want me to put the second yard in there? And I said, of course I do, because we're going to get all of our materials to the job site 
and um, that's how the best way to do it if you're doing something like this yourself and you're going to go ahead and bring your materials try to get as much as possible always especially on your gravel or your sand in this case you know get a little bit more because I promise you'll use it all so don't be afraid to get a little extra especially if you've got your own truck or your own trailer if you're having it delivered again get a little bit more you will find a place for it hey this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you if you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. You are building the French drain wrong. Only I can build a French drain. You know, we get so many email requests now asking for Sideshow Bob. We decided to go ahead and give him his own French Drain channel. Check it out in the description box below. Sideshow Bob.